I still have respect for Blackface and FaZe, Tubaba speaking on the possibility of a Plantation Boys reunion. They were once friends, once chasing the same dream as members of the revolutionary Plantation Boys, but things are so different today between Tubaba and Blackface. Blackface has declared war on Tubaba and utilizes every opportunity that he has to tell the world that he owns intellectual property rights to Tubaba's songs African Queen and Let Somebody Love You. In mid-2018, Tubaba placed a 50 million naira lawsuit on Blackface for defamation of character but it hasn't stopped the accusations. During the questions and answers segment on Tubaba's The Rain concert hosted by Trace Live, Tubaba is asked if the possibility of a Plantation Boys reunion exists and the Oyi singer said it's not his sole decision. And the rest of the plantation boys are gone. <laughs> plantation boys will not come back again. <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> First of all, make some noise for plantation boys. Yes, sir. Mark of my respect. No matter how we be, I still remain a plantation boy forever. Um, that's where it all started in terms of the career, in terms of coming out major and all. Um, I still got respect for everybody, Blackface, Face, you know. Um, and uh, in terms of coming back, only me can answer that. Wow. You understand? I believe all of us have the desire to steal this stuff. You know, but the devil is a liar. You know, I can't see all of them without the stuff. While we would love to see Plantation Boys on stage together again, more important would be for Tubaba and Blackface to bury the hatchet between them and move on. We hope that someday soon they can reunite as brothers. The two of them need to remember that above all, they achieved something great together, revolutionizing an industry as members of the Plantation Boys, influencing millions worldwide. That really should matter more. Simi set to drop new album. Singer Simi, who has been swimming in a pool of trends since the beginning of the year, has revealed that she is set to drop an album soon. Mrs. Adekunle Gold revealed the news on Twitter, writing, The album is almost ready. The airwaves are fired up and ready for Simi to yet again dominate the industry while getting everyone grooving. I'm loving your melody, Lord, instrumental. Girl, I love you dearly. Hey. This love me forever, baby, surely. Our singer LAX and Sound City's Moe Abebe dating, Nigerian music star Damlola Afolabi, popularly known as LAX, and Sound City OAP Moet Abebe, referred to as the radio goddess, recently stirred up social media as they both posted a loved up bedroom photo featuring both of them on their Instagram pages. The picture caused a mini debate on social media as fans argued on the message that the duo were trying to pass with the posts. Are they announcing to the world that they are an item or could it be that they are just trying to cause some buzz on social media which many find more reasonable? We guess it won't take too long before we get the answer to that question. Forever we go there, so we no go divorce. 
Motin do the day. It's been so long, baby. I've been waiting for the signs. Yemi Alade and Ricardo Banks reckon education to be Nigeria's way out. It's election season here in Nigeria when everyone seems to be more concerned about the well-being of the country. Our celebrities, of course, are not left out. Singers Yemi Alade and Ricardo Banks, in response to the political whereabouts of the nation, have tied the solution to education. In a series of tweets, Yemi Alade wrote, Real education is the key and armor to ending greed and poverty in Nigeria. The only way to change the narrative is through education. There you have it fam, send your kids to school, education is the key and padlock. Ricardo Banks tweeted, Nigeria needs education like from scratch. Most people could not help but agree with them based on grounds of high level of ignorance harbored by the majority of the masses. Musical legend Tubaba also shared his thoughts on education with a quote by Asatu Shakur, a former member of the Black Liberation Army in which she said, no one is going to give you the education you need to overthrow them. Hmm, definitely food for thought. Come, come, they form like the butter Because I know you know, say I know you I know be every dressing of you